There's a big difference between reading and learning. We might read hundreds of books, articles, watch educational videos, have conversations, but how do we convert all of this into useful knowledge? Something we can use to create things, to put that knowledge into action. One way to do this is to use the Zettelkasten method. It's a German word. Zettel means slip and Kasten means box. Nicholas Luhmann was a German sociologist who wrote more than 70 books and 400 scholarly articles with this method. Whenever he came across a new book or a research article, he made notes. He he accumulated more than 90,000 notes in his lifetime. So Zettelkasten method is about building a connected knowledge base outside of your brain. So each time you learn something, it can be added to your existing knowledge. There are three types of notes in the Zettelkasten method. Fleeting notes, literature notes, and permanent notes. Fleeting notes are all about the thoughts that you have in your daily life. For example, during walking, while you're in the shower, while you're having a discussion with friends, while you're daydreaming. So any thought, any idea that comes to your mind, you should capture it down, write it down as soon as possible and that is the fleeting note. Step two is the literature notes. It's about writing down notes while you're consuming content, while you're reading a book, you're reading an article, you're watching a YouTube video. Write something down in your own words, three to five sentences and then track the reference. This is called a literature note. The idea is that you should capture one main idea per literature note in your own words and always must mention the reference from where it came from. The third step is taking permanent notes. These are created after you review what you wrote down in your fleeting notes or your literature notes. Again, it's about one atomic idea. Clear explanation so someone with no context, when they look at it, they can understand what you're talking about. So your permanent notes are basically a refined version of your fleeting notes and your literature notes. They're going to stay in your database for a long time. And the way you write your permanent notes is that they should add value to your existing ideas to increase your existing web of knowledge. So we'll see an example of this method in an app called Notion. Notion is a fantastic app where you can build databases and uh, let's see how we will use the Zettelkasten method in Notion. So recently I've been reading this book called When the Scientific Secrets of Perfect Timing by Daniel Pink and let's see how we would use the Zettelkasten method to take notes. Whenever I hear of an interesting book that I ought to read, I write about the book the author, the book's rating on Goodreads and how many reviews it got. And based on the rating, I have sorted all of the books uh, in ascending order so I can read the books with the highest rating first. Let's look at this particular book called When. So if I open this, open this in full screen, I've uh, cre already created a page called Literature Notes, right? So if I click on it, I wrote down a bunch of notes from the book. So while I was reading a book, I highlighted certain pages and I wrote some comments on the book and I just translated those uh, comments over here in my own words. As you can see, I also gave a reference to the page. So whenever I want to go back, I know that I have to go to this book and this page within this book. So these are basically an example of literature notes. You can capture these notes as you're reading the book. If you have your app open, you can just type in these notes. But for me, it's more practical to just use sticky notes or just write something with a pencil on the book and then copy these notes later on. And that's what I did. And as you can see, literature notes are very specific to the context where I got them from. So I thought of these notes while reading the book. So that's why I've placed them in that book's folder. But the ultimate goal of the literature notes and the fleeting notes is to make permanent notes. So now that we have our literature notes, we want to create some permanent notes. Let's look at our literature notes and see what insights we got. If I look at all of these points, there is one theme common and the common theme is that the time of the day and performance or analytical evening is better depending on whether a person is a productive time. And as I read the book, I will refine these notes, add more points to these notes. But this is an important insight. So using the Zettelkasten method, I will also use this permanent note to ask some questions. The question that I want to answer in the future. Which type am I? Am I a night owl or a lark? Is the best time owl or a lark? So uh, if you want to convince someone, let's say whether that's for a business meeting or if you are an employee and you want to ask for a raise or it's your performance evaluation, what is the best time of the day to ask for those things? I want to figure this out. By the end of this book, I'm sure I'll get an answer to this. But for now, this is an open question that I've written down. I will mention the reference here. When I then think 
every note has a title there is a reference there is the content of the note so in the reference i want to mention where did i get this information from so in notion the best way to link a note is by using double square brackets it opens up a shortcut and by doing this what i can simply do is i can link it to my book here whenever i come across this note and i want to go back to the book i will just click on this hyperlink and it will take me to the books page and within this page i have all the literature notes as well so if i want to see more details on the other hand if i'm ever reading my book summary and i come across this page I, if i click on the back link it will show me which notes or which permanent notes are linked to this particular book let's give this note a title so what is this note about impact of bit of time of the day now the cool thing about a, about this is let's say uh, i do some more research and i'll refine my notes as i go along the, go along this book or i come across any other research and i want to link this particular concept with other things let's say my performance appraisal is coming up and i want to leave a very good impression when should i have that performance appraisal when should i schedule my meeting should i schedule that meeting earlier on in the day should it be around lunch do i schedule it closer to the end of the day uh, i want to figure that out so what i'll do is i will create a new page add a new page i will name this page annual performance review my annual performance review my achievements my areas of opportunities etc so i can use this page in notion and prepare for my annual performance review you can see that there is a backlink and whenever i click on that backlink that will take me to this particular note which kind of reminds me that hey when you're going through your performance review don't forget about this research don't forget the impact of when you have your meeting on uh, on the results if my boss for example is a lark who prefers to get up early in the morning i'll try to schedule my meeting early on in the day similarly let's say i'm also going to need to do a business negotiation i will add a new page and i will call it negotiation and whatever i write about negotiation there will be one backlink always available which is related to this research so this is an example of a permanent note i can link this permanent note to different areas and that way this knowledge is connected the information that my research about my performance review about negotiation about any other aspect is all connected to this note which can be connected to several other areas we have a note with a very clear heading we have the reference clearly mentioned we have the actual content of the note in our own words any insights or questions you can mention that over here and then we have uh, related notes and as we gather more information these connections will get stronger and bigger and just like a web this information will become more powerful as more notes are accumulated and because they're all connected whenever i click on any one particular note i can always look at the back link and see what notes are, are related to that it is accessible i can just simply go to the relevant note and it will tell me what other notes are related to this and that is the true power for this note taking system and there are many apps that have this capability in apps like OneNote and Evernote this is more difficult but in apps such as uh, Notion the one that i'm using right now Obsidian Roam Research these things are easier you can take fleeting notes on uh, any piece of paper on any app the whole point of fleeting notes is that you want to capture those thoughts before you forget about them they are only temporary they are used to make permanent notes so let's say i'm just speaking to a friend and i suddenly think of an example of where this book of mine can help me i'll quickly jot it down so i'll say by the concept of when while organizing the next get together whatever comes to your mind you're just writing it down and later on i can take these notes and refine them use them to make my permanent notes they're going to be deleted anyway they're fleeting notes they're temporary they just enable us to make our permanent notes i hope you found this video to be helpful let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel for videos every week thank you very much